I'm really excited to show you a simple way that you can practice that only takes a few minutes of your time that will help you continue to improve as a painter and that you can use wherever you are. I recently went on a family vacation. And if you're like me, an introvert, I need a creative outlet even when I'm away from home, even when I'm busy, when I'm with family. I need something easy that I can do to keep that little spark going, to do something to continue to improve in my craft. This trip was all about family time. It wasn't about me lugging along my plein air gear and having the family wait around while I was painting. I needed something that was easy to carry. We were packing as light as we could to go on this trip and I wanted something that I could have ready in seconds and then put it away quickly as well. And I want to show you today the solution I came up with. First, a simple sketch pad, a pencil, an eraser, a pen, and three markers. These are Copic sketch markers and they come in different shades of gray. You can buy a set of these markers and then I just hang on to the three that are important to me. A number two, a number four, and number eight. So we're working with four values. We have the light of the paper, the light value, my middle value, my dark value. And on top of that, I have a pencil to do a sketch. I have a kneaded eraser, a pen that I can use for little darks and little finishing touches. So I took a few quick pictures when we were waiting to get onto our flight. And then once we got seated and up in the air and the kids were all settled, I was able to pull this out and do a quick sketch on the plane. And I actually really enjoyed it. It was a very fun process of creating this little sketch. And it was a great mental break. And I could still easily stay engaged with my kids and what was going on around me as well. I just had a little spot on my tray to put this and it was all I needed practicing value, looking for the large shapes of the scene, and getting down some quick notes that might later on develop into a painting. So let me show you the idea behind this. So the first thing I like to do is draw a little square for your composition. This is what I wanna frame my sketch in. And the point of this sketch here is this airplane. And what I like are all these little lines, good little lead-ins and ways to direct our eyes around the scene. I want to emphasize the light shape of this plane. So I'm going to take my lightest marker here, and what I'm going to do is cover this whole area with that other than the plane. I'm going to use the pointy side and do the underside of the plane. Okay, so there we have the lightest values leaving that as the whitest part. And now when I squint, I see that the ground should be a little darker than the sky. I'm gonna take my next marker that's slightly darker than this one, and I wanna look at the ground plane and see where that is. You can make some little broken up shapes. There's the horizon right there, and there's a building that comes up behind the plane and I want to go ahead and paint around my plane again. And that's going to connect right into this shape here. There's my middle value, and I need some more on the plane here. There's some under the wing. And now, I'm going to switch to my darks. So I'm taking my marker that's a little darker than those. Again, I'm painting around the plane one more time. I can leave a little bit of those values behind. And there's a few little marks here and there. The underside of this brings a little bit of attention down here. A few little finishing touches and that'll be it. You can take your pen and you can go in and add any little detail that you want. If you want to add a few little windows, make sure your pen's working.
All right, there it is. A simple, easy, mobile way to practice. Even creating these small studies can help you to continually think about values, work on drawing, think about composition, all of these crucial things that will make us better painters. For those artists that are action takers, that are always looking for another way forward to continually improve, I have a video lesson, The Seven Secrets of Fresh and Powerful Painting. This is essentially a mini watercolor workshop. I explain to you the keys in planning your painting, mindfully painting your scene, and knowing when to put the brush down to avoid overworking your painting. And on top of this, I include my watercolor supplies guide. If you have questions about paper, about pigments, about any supplies that I use, and you're looking for a little bit of guidance, then this is for you. Many students have already seen a lot of improvement and a lot of growth from this mini workshop. Follow this link here to get to the seven secrets of fresh and powerful painting. I'll see you next time.